Welcome to Ezel Engineering YouTube channel. In this practical tutorial, I will show you how to define and apply wind load on the building model that is uh, shown on the screen. In CSI, uh, it has software with detailed explanation on building code of a uh, standard. For this eight-story apartment building, a wind load is uh, tied and the final output uh, looks like this. There is a maximum wind at the roof that is uh, all about a uh, 47.92 uh, kilonewton and at the base the wind load is zero uh, i will tell you all the reason and uh, we will uh, apply and assign all the wind loads to this uh, project with you watch this video up to the end to master uh, structural detail if uh, you have interest uh, to know more about all possible uh, load combination that includes all horizontal and uh, vertical load combined together uh, i have uploaded a tutorial so uh, the link of uh, that video is here in the description box and first comments of uh, this video now it's a time for uh subscribe my channel to get daily uh, update tutorials free thank you for your uh, subscribe and uh, like this video let's uh cross it to uh, today's tutorial as i told to you before uh today's tutorial is uh all about how to define a wind load and uh how to assign it to the uh, product so uh to do this Let's go to uh, first define a uh, wind load in both X and Y direction. So go to define menu, load patterns here. From the load pattern menu, uh, the load type, make it a uh, wind. You can name uh, any uh, name here, wind in X uh, direction. That is wind load, wind load in X uh, direction. And the type, it's not dead, it's a uh, wind. Self weight multiplier, uh, make it uh, zero. Auto uh, lateral load, you can calculate uh, the wind load uh, by yourself or uh, you can left it uh, to the software by selecting a building code of standard. So uh, in our case, it's better to uh, select building code of uh, standard and leave it uh, to calculate each uh, wind load to uh, the software by itself. So uh, in our case, uh, have to use uh, error code, but in your case, you can use any uh, building code of standard for uh, your uh, local uh, building code. So uh, I have to use uh, error code 1 uh, 2050. This is because error code 1 uh, part 4 is all about uh, wind load. So uh, let's uh, make it add a load. So uh, wind load in X uh, is uh, defined like this. Before proceeding to uh, defining wind load in a Y direction, it's better to modify wind load in uh, X direction. So uh, go to modify a lateral load. From here, uh, exposure and pressure coefficient. I have two choices here. Exposure from extent of diaphragm and exposure from a uh, shell object. Exposure from extent of uh, diaphragm, uh, the software itself calculates each uh, wind load value at uh, each diaphragm point using uh, the width and uh, the heights of each story. Exposure uh, from shell object, it's nothing but uh, first we are going to uh, draw a, a cladding forest to this uh, model uh, after uh, drawing this uh, cladding forest uh, we are going to uh, apply a load that is to the windward and leanward uh, direction after that this cladding forest uh, transfers the load to the building and finally uh, the wind load is uh, assigned to uh, this model so uh, for uh, today's tutorial purpose uh, we are going to use exposure from uh, extents of uh, diaphragm to get each uh, wind load at any uh, or at each uh, story level. Using uh, this step, uh, let's proceed to uh, the other uh, data, that is a uh, wind uh, coefficient and other data. So uh, from the wind uh, coefficient, uh, wind velocity, actually uh, wind velocity depends on uh, your uh, area and uh, that the building code of standard recommends. So you can edit uh, this uh, value. So uh, the other uh, wind coefficient, uh, property that Ethereum category uh, from here uh, we have uh, five Ethereum categories in your code so uh, the first category that is uh, category zero is uh, all about uh, the uh, product around uh, the seashore uh, you can uh, refer your building code of standard but in our case uh, our uh, product is found in a uh, category four that is uh, around the city so uh, for this purpose I have to use uh, category four so uh, you can edit anything here uh, using your building code of standard and uh, air density, air density is uh, actually depends on the altitude. So uh, most of uh, the areas have uh, air density around 1.25. So uh, I will uh, leave it as it is. 
And the other interesting and important point is exposure height for your uh, site location. Uh, if uh, you are uh, more sure, uh, you can start the bottom story of uh, your project as a uh, third floor or fourth floor or fifth floor. Uh, that depends on uh, the location of your project. For example, if uh, your project is uh, around the city, so uh, and there are a lot of a uh, huge building, investigate are uh, getting data and then uh, you can start uh, your uh, bottom story from a second, third or fourth, that depends on uh, your research. So uh, in our case, it's better to use uh, the bottom story uh, starting from uh, the ground floor and uh, the top story, uh, the last story, that is a water tanker. And uh, you can include also uh, the heights of uh, the parapet hole. In our case, I have to uh, include a 1.5 meter uh, parapet walls. After this, uh, let's proceed to a uh, wind exposure uh, parameters. From here, uh, we are going to decide the wind direction and we are going to uh, insert the windward coefficient and uh, leanward coefficient that we are going to uh, calculate before. To decide the direction of uh, the wind, that is, uh, we are going to define a wind load in x direction that is both in positive and uh, negative direction. Go to modify or show. From here, uh, I'm going to uh, put zero degree to consider the uh, wind load in x uh, direction that is positive and i'm going to put uh, 100 or i'm going to uh, write 180 degree to consider uh, the negative directions of wind in x direction after this uh, you must should that uh, click this uh, box that is exposure set which is in auto uh, calculation from the diaphragm extent by the uh, program itself after that Make it okay. You can assign a wind load in y direction in similar way to the x direction. After that, uh, we are going to proceed to uh, the analysis menu and we are uh, going to analyze this model. After that, uh, I will show the effects of uh, this uh, wind load on our project. So uh, let's proceed to uh, the analysis menu. Run analysis. The analysis of this uh, project is completed uh, like this. After that, go to the display menu. From here, a story response plot. Display type, uh, make sure that auto uh, lateral load to uh, all stories. After that, the load pattern, uh, make it a uh, wind load in X uh, direction that uh, we are going to define before. So uh, the final output of the assigned load is uh, coming like this, that it the maximum uh, assigned load is at the roof and the minimum uh, assigned load uh, at the base is zero. So uh, at the roof, uh, we have a uh, 121.3 uh, kilonewton uh, wind load that is uh, calculated and assigned uh, by the software itself using uh, the input data we are going to uh, insert uh, like this. After that, it's better to proceed to uh, the display menu also, make it force or uh, stress diagram make it a frame so uh, it's better to check the maximum uh, movement for this uh, project so uh, the maximum movement due to this uh, wind load in x direction is uh, like this so let's go to uh, one elevation to see all the details in clear manner so the lateral load is uh, considered uh, like this this were the most important part regarding to uh, how to define and uh, the lateral loads like a uh, wind load on your uh, project. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.